Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a video. Today, we're going to talk about the Haya Toys exclusive Judge Dredd, the Cursed Earth. So, this is the Cursed Earth version. There will be differences to it. And the first thing I want to see is obviously, you see the cloak, it's a banger. Um, for those of you that don't see it, uh, well, I don't know what to tell you, but you can listen to me, right? Here we are with Dredd looking really cool in this Cursed Earth cloak. Now, what's really cool about it is that it is wired. So you can actually like set it to different positions. If you want it to flow up, you can do this. If you want it to flow back and across. It is wired throughout the lining of the cloak, just on the one end, and it looks tattered and barren on the other. So yeah, your boy out here looking cool. He knows how to stylize. It's one of those really cool things. Now, if you are like me and are wondering if you can take it off, the answer is yes. So what you will do is you will gently lift and pop the head off and you will gently wiggle the shoulder off of the ball joint you can actually just remove it. So now you can have a regular drip. So you do have options. And like I said, it's the cloak is wired throughout this lining here. You see where the, the hole for that piece is? But yeah, we have our nice tattered and worn cape looking really solid. Now, what we are gonna do is we are going to put Dreads accessories back on, make them look cool. Now, one of the things I wanna do is I'm going to switch it up just ever so differently. And the first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to show you how the normal version looks when you compare it to that of this one. So as you can see right out the gate, there is a skin tone difference. There is a suit tone difference. The colorway is a difference. So you'll have like the dirty boots. You'll see the mud on the boots. And if you don't, let me lift it up. There is mud on the boots. There's that dirtier green. The green up here is actually more worn and weathered. I feel like this one is closer to the original color green. Or we have more bronze up here. The skin is more tan because you're out in the wastelands. Even this is worn. So it almost feels like it's a level of radiation and sun damage, which makes it look really, really cool. And I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah. So right out the gate, you see the differences. So with that being said, I'm gonna put this guy away. And yes, you can put the cloak on the cool regular release one too. <laughs> So, right out the gate, just like with the normal one, let's talk about how he moves. You can look up, you can look down, you can tilt left and right. These are slightly posable. We can lift our arms up to hit a T-pose. I know a lot of people worry about the suit, but I haven't had any issues so far after having it for some time. As you can see, I'm able to rotate, get it back there. There is a butterfly joint in there as well, which is actually pretty cool because my butterfly joint with this intense heat, actually, actually actually loosened up just a bit more, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it looks like this one actually looks and functions just as good as the normal one. If not, it's slightly better because of the heat now. <laughs> so yeah, as far as lifting our leg up, we have the ability to get to 90 degrees, right? We do have a thigh swivel, right? We have a double joint and we have that, what I'm going to call now is the higher ankle pivot. It's on like the rubber boot style. So you can like, it's weird cause it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like a natural without, like a non-visible joint there. So it feels weird and, and, it, and it functions perfectly, but it just feels weird because you're used to seeing the joint. So it's a little different here. As far as our ab crunch goes, we, mm, as usual, because of that, that joint. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's because of the upper torso. You won't get a crazy good upper swivel Wait, what's the word i was looking for <laughs> you won't get a very good forward ab crunch but you can tilt to the side very good but you won't get that nice forward crunch but as you can see here dread can pose up and look pretty cool that means you can next let me see if i'm about to run oh actually yeah dread that ain't looking bad at all not looking bad at all your boy out here trying to hit the running pose yeah he can hit it so there are options here for how you want to pose up your dread and how he's going to look. But I think overall, most people will be happy with it, with the exception of, you know, people are scared of using the pleather. I don't blame them at all for it, but I feel like Haya must know or at least try to make this last. Otherwise, it's like, why would you do this? Because you'll be sitting here in replacements for like forever. But who knows? Time is really going to be the big test of that. So with that being said, let's now jump into the accessories. Let's get to it. So accessory-wise, we're going to get the same accessories, but in a slightly different colorway. For instance, 
or can on the normal one. Came with a clear spray. This is a metallic blue, no more white spray, right? Then we have our bullet fire. We have two different bullet effects, both being way more orange instead of the more clear. To kind of show you that cursed earth style to reflect that art style. And we have our Lar Giver, Mark One and Mark Two. They look utterly fantastic in a more grayscale but metallic style. As you can see with both of them. And as you saw with the effect here, pop that in. There you go. Next up, we will have, ooh, the smoking gun effect. Always a, always a really nice one. We're gonna give this to the Lawgiver Mark I. So let's say you just finished doing an incendiary shot, right? Especially for those of you who like watch the movie and like that. Here we are, that smoking gun effect. And then we will get a bloodied baseball bat instead of a normal one this time, because we are doing, you know, it has to be something different, it's a colorway. So yeah, here you have that bloodied bat, oh, so I would call it a baseball bat, the baton, sorry. Then we have the more grit teeth sculpt. It's crazy because this make dread looks a little bit older, especially with those bloody teeth. But like I said, it's also cursed, cursed earth style. So it's one of those things where I guess they're trying to make that true reflection on that art style. I forgot who was doing the art that time. It wasn't Carlos Iquerza. It was Brian Boland, right? I believe it was Brian Boland. Here we are, our open mouth sculpt. And like I said, if you really enjoy that art style, this is definitely gonna be a nice colorway match for you. Even our hands, they're all the same. They're gonna reflect that dark green. So here you are with our closed fist. Then you have your item holding hand for your right hand side. You'll have an item holding hand for the left hand side. You'll get the spray can holding hand. You can also use this to hold other weapons, things like that. But yeah, this is going to sit in the hand. Do, 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 do. There we go. Focus keeps changing. There we go. Yeah. Last but not least, you're going to have another open palm hand. You can also use this for writing on a lawmaster or things like that. But yeah, there you have it. This is going to be a Cursed Earth Dread. Looks really good, but it's one of those things where I'm like, do you need it? Must you need it? Let's be real. We haven't seen a lot of dreads in a long time, and I'm hoping that Haya decides to do like Anderson or uh, a few of the other judges. And now, why does her name escape me? Not Judge Kelly. Oh, crap. But I don't, I know we're going to probably, I hope we get them. The other, the horsemen of the apocalypse, which is like war, famine, death. But there is another judge who, I forgot her name. And it's bothering me because she's like always his boss. And I love her. But her name escapes me, and I hate that right now. But I do hope we get her, especially because I've been reading the IDW stuff, and her name just keeps escaping me. But yes, with that being said, though, let's jump into the size comparison before I drive myself crazy trying to remember her name. Let's get to it. All right, into the size comparison. First, let's compare the previous Judge Dreads. I have the 3A one, I have the Mezco one, and I'm doing this because in case you haven't watched the first video I did on the regular Judge Dread, here you are. So here is the Cursed Earth from Mezco. Then we have the 3-0 Dread. You can kind of see where they stack out. Uh, this light blue is crazy because I actually really like that light blue. But you can see there are stark differences in between them. But all kind of referencing that style. But they all put their little spin on it. Right? Next up, we will do... Ooh. Let us do the Mofex Robocop. Right? So you can, like, you know, in case you want to do your crossover stuff. And let's do the Higher Toys Rambo. So now we can see what we're getting into. So as you can see here different styles but 80s action heroes gotta love them right let us remove these guys next up we're gonna do oh let us do an action force and a marvel legend so here we are with an action force figure as well as a marvel legends nick fury as you can see dread sits a little bit smaller so higher will probably scale a little better with stuff like shf and mofex here we are with a gi joe night creeper Ooh, and you know what? Because you never know, mutants, monsters, and things like that. Here's a mythic legion, in case you want them to go up against a mutant or a monster. And last but not least, we're gonna throw my main man Ichigo in there because we always do that. That's how we roll around here. So here you go. So yeah, man, this is one of those things where I'm really glad 
that we're getting variants already because that means we probably can step into doing other judges as well as getting the Lawmaster. I hope that if they do the Lawmaster, they do the Lawmaster 1 and the Lawmaster Mark 2. I would absolutely adore that. Uh, but yes, if you're curious, he does fit on the Mezco Lawmaster. I will do photos of it. Also, if you watched the previous video, you'll know he fits on it. So, with all of that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. I hope you guys check it out. And as always, please, be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.